In today's data-driven world, business users are challenged with the task of getting access to numerous data sets. What if there was a tool that could simplify your data management systems? That's where Data Marketplace comes into play. Oracle's Data Marketplace is a catalog of data sets that gives users rights to those data sets through manager approval. Today, we'll walk you through the approval process, show the admin side of things, and then show what can actually be done with those data sets once they are made accessible. Once the Oracle Application Express, or Apex, is pulled up, you will be prompted for your username and a password. If you don't already have an account, you will create one here by clicking on Register. Here, you will enter your first name, last name, email, and then choose a name for the workspace. Once all of those credentials are entered, you will hit Submit Request for Workspace Approval. By requesting a workspace, you are requesting access to that workspace environment. Now we'll take a look at the admin side of things. Once logged in, the admin is able to see a list of the workspace requests. Here the admin is able to see the most recent request that was submitted by the user. Only the admin of Data Marketplace is able to change the status of the request. To change the status, the admin will click on the drop-down box under Status and click Approved. Whenever a user requests access to the Data Marketplace workspace, the admin will be sent a request that they can either approve or deny. Once the workspace request is submitted for approval, the user will receive two emails. The first email will tell you that the workspace has been created. This email will contain the workspace that has been approved, the email address that you requested access from, and the environment that the workspace is in. The second email that you will receive lists credentials. You will be given database credentials, marketplace credentials, and workspace credentials. These credentials can be used to log in into their desired space. Now that the user is given access to the workspace, the user can then log into their workspace with the workspace credentials provided in the email. If the user tries to create an application here, Right now, they have access only to the default schema with no real data to play around with. The user can now log in to the Data Marketplace application in order to gain access to those desired data sets. Once the user is logged into the Data Marketplace with the Marketplace credentials, they will be prompted to change their password. This is done to help harden the security of the data files. Now that the user is logged into the Data Marketplace, here is a list of all the data sets that will be shown. Now it's time to play around and click on any of these desired data sets. Today's desired data set is World Hybrid Cars. When you click on this data set, all of the information about it will be shown. Metadata pertaining to the chosen data set will be shown along with some pre-built sample visualizations. If you want to work on this chosen data set, hit subscribe. When you, the user, hit subscribe, an email will be sent to the admin for approval. Once logged in, the admin will navigate to schema request. The admin will be able to see the data set that was just requested access to and all the other data sets waiting for approval. If the admin wants to give you access, they can click on the schema name and then select approved. The status of the schema request will then change from requested to approved. Once approved is selected, the admin will then click Grant Access. Now that the user is given access to the data sets, they can log into their workspace and they'll be able to see the data sets that they have access to and even run reports on them. In this case, the user wants to build a report on vehicle's price based on its class. Additionally, user can use database credentials that they received in the email and connect to Oracle Analytics Cloud where they would be easily able to build visualizations. For example, here in this visualization, user is able to create a dashboard of vehicles based on the class with their respective price. This visualization was created by simply dragging and dropping vehicle class and retail price. Data Marketplace is a very valuable tool for users. 
Data is now more accurate, accessible, and up to date. And with the simple way to request access, any data set on the market is now available. Data Marketplace is not only a good tool for users, it is a good tool for both managers and administrators. They now have to manage only one unified data platform. Keeping data in one consolidated place is more cost-effective and efficient for everyone. Thank you.